on everybody vince goodrum here it is sunday morning i'm just sitting outside of uh willie taco just had me some brunch as you can guys can see here there is willie taco right there so if you guys y'all want to get some brunch you know come on down here to greenville south carolina if you're ever in town this is probably one of the best joints and establishments they have great brunch and they also have great mexican food here so just want to touch base on the uh, Arnold Classic uh, Australia there and just give my honest opinion on it here. So, uh, Ruli Winkler actually won that event. You know, I'm pretty impressed with his improvements that he's made. He's slimmed down the waist. His legs are looking a lot better and there's a lot more detail. Uh, at this point in time, he just needs to get a lot of rest there and go up to the, uh, in order to compete at the uh, Mr. Olympia. Uh, I mean, if he holds his physique, gives a little bit more detail, I'm more than sure that uh, he'll give Phil Heath a run for his money, in other words. Now, uh, you know, I'm very I'm very pleased with Ruley's conditioning. He's actually figured out all what was going on with it, apparently, and he's actually made those uh, those ultimate improvements here. So, you know, congratulations on to Ruley Winkler. Uh, you know, second place, William Bonac. Uh, you know, he just won the Arnold Classic, the big show there. So, you know, there's no, I mean, there's no disgrace in getting second place here. I mean, it was pretty much expected there. When you're trying to hold a uh, conditioning for that long there, you know, it's going to slip a little bit. And Ruley, you know, he was just came in very detailed to where, uh, he wasn't so detailed at the Arnold Classic, so that was just simply to be expected here. So, I mean, that's still an awesome payday. Now, in terms of Dexter Jackson, a lot of people were talking about his arm and stuff like that. And I think if everyone's up there trying to say that there were some sight injections and stuff like that, and that's not really the case. I think he had some sort of accident there. Uh, because when someone fucks up a sight injection there in bodybuilding, I mean, it's going to be a lot more noticeable than that. In fact, you know, you can actually get fevers and stuff like that. Uh, but in all honesty, I think part of the mishap also came from the fact that, you know, you're going from the United States to Australia. You know, that is a 16-hour trip. So, you know, the body just has, the body just works r really weirdly whenever you're traveling there. You know, and you puff up a little bit here and there. You know, I'm not sure exactly what the mishap actually was. I don't have much details, but still, you know, that just speaks to Dexter's conditioning there, considering that he took third place there. And, you know, everybody else there, you know, everyone else did pretty well. You know, as far as Kevin Lavroni is concerned, uh, you know, a lot of people want me to go and dog him saying he didn't have that proper conditioning and everything like that. But you have to remember, this guy is 53 years old there. He's 53 years old, and he's competing at a very major event. This is his last show, and, you know, there's no shame in it whatsoever there. He is, Kevin Lavroni is a legend. He's going to go down as a legend. You know, he's won a number of shows there over his uh, course of competing, so, you know, there's no shame in that. You know, I understand that everyone was expecting him to win first place there and everything. I mean, at least his fans was concerned. But, you know, you have to accept the reality of things that when you're 53 years old, you know, that conditioning is gone. Now, he came in much bigger than uh, uh, his previous event there. And his legs showed a little bit there. But like I said, at 53 years old, those legs are not going to come back, basically. Uh, he was a little off conditioning, which is pretty understandable there. You know, I'm sure he wasn't trying to take it too far or anything like that. So, I mean, big congrats to Kevin Lavroni. You know, as far as the future is concerned, you know, who knows there. But, you know, he's done uh, very spectacular in his career as a bodybuilder. And, you know, that's all I got to say about the Arnold Classic Australia. You guys take care and we'll see you Monday.